The state bill for corrections in Kentucky is more than half a billion dollars. The tab in Fayette County alone is more than $30 million. That's a lot of money for a system which is supposed to keep you safe, but for many reasons it sometimes doesn't. In an ABC 36 News special report, Chris Dietz has more on how a single decision changed an entire family. Bass Webb currently stands accused of murdering two ex-girlfriends and attempting to kill two Bourbon County jail employees. One of those murders could have been prevented if a different decision had been made at a critical point during Webb's long criminal history. It's a decision that cost one family a daughter, a sister, and a mother. If you needed her, she'd be there. And you could be a complete stranger, and she'd try to help you. She tried to see the best of everybody. In late July of last year, Dee Dee Wilson's little sister Bria, a woman who never quit on anything, was getting ready to start a new job and a new chapter in her life. You know, I just talked to her, set up a coffee date. I was going to go spend the day with her. And then I get woke up to my sister's death. <sighs> Early on Friday, July 31st, then 30-year-old Bass Webb, Bria's ex-boyfriend, drove into the parking lot of the Bourbon County Detention Center and tried to run over a deputy and a pretrial officer. Less than an hour later, with his car on fire, Webb pulled over and was arrested. And that is when he allegedly told police what happened at Bria Runowitz's home in Cynthiana. I wanted to go see her, and they wouldn't let me up there. <laughs> Nobody take me up there. And he had just been there at my house, so it made me feel like I could have stopped it. But the criminal justice system could have stopped Webb months earlier. On December 29th, 2008, Webb was an inmate at the Bourbon County Jail, serving out the last months of a five-year sentence for assaulting a police officer. That evening, another inmate, Robert Holloway, was collecting meal trays. When Webb's cell door was opened, he started punching Holloway who went to the ground. Webb then picked up a metal cart with both hands and beat Holloway so severely the cart's handles broke off and Holloway was sent to the hospital. Webb was originally charged with a felony assault which would have sent him back to prison for years. Instead, the charge was amended to a misdemeanor and Webb, a convicted persistent felony offender with a history of violence, received the maximum sentence of 360 days in jail but half were suspended, and Webb walked out of jail March 2nd, 2009, just 63 days later. Sometimes I wonder just how we're going to get through the day. We have people telling us, well, you should be feeling better. You should be dealing with this better. We can't. But Dee Dee and her mother, Dora, aren't the only ones still grieving. It's like they're not getting it. Rhea's daughters, Madison and Morgan, are eight, and nine years old. They talk about their mom. Mostly all the time it's in present tense. I mean, and it just breaks our heart. The two young girls lost their father to a heart attack less than a month before their mother was murdered. Holidays are unbearable. We cry more than we walk. Dee Dee says the girls have normal moments, but seem quieter now. For the man police say admitted to killing his And though they try and keep them away from watching the news. Webb was in court, he was wearing a mask over his face. Rhea's daughters know who Bass Webb is. They know that name and, you know, yes, they hate him. They hate him with a passion. With regard to the IQ test. Two weeks ago, Webb was found competent to stand trial for his alleged crimes. Dee Dee and her family will be there to ensure justice for Bria. And even though Webb will likely never spend another day outside of prison, nothing will ever answer the question Dee Dee Wilson asks every day. Why didn't I say something? Why didn't I do something to prevent my sister's death? I should have done something because I was her big sister. I was her protector. I needed to be there for her, and I failed her. I won't ever forget that. I mean, that'll stay with me for the rest of my life. The Bourbon County judge who sentenced Webb to just 180 days told me she couldn't comment on the case, but she did tell me in a statement she followed the recommendation of the Bourbon County attorney. My calls to that office were not returned, so the reasons for why that charge 
was amended to a misdemeanor remain unclear. Tomorrow, we'll examine the state of the jails and what many in the criminal justice system say can help reduce the costs to you and also keep you safer. In the studio, Chris Dietz, ABC 36, your local news source.